Question four is coming up. Aaron loves goat cheese. False or true? True. Sorry, you missed it. The answer I wanted was false. Aaron thinks it tastes like dirt. Last question because already? Because it tastes like Here dirt. Here we go. Subscribers to this channel know that I love posting videos about adventure and travel and urbex and drones, but today I'm gonna to do something a little bit different. My day job has me working in visual interfaces, you know, designing for websites and mobile apps, things like that. But recently I've been a little bit obsessed with the idea of a not so distant future where we won't have any visual interface at all. Open the pod bay doors, Hill. I'm sorry, Dave. So today I'm going to show you how to build your very own Google Home application in less than five minutes with no coding experience at all. And then at the end of this video, I'll show you how it works. All right, so before you get started, you're going to want to make sure that you have your Google Home all set up and make sure it's on the same Wi-Fi as your phone. That is something that took me a while to figure out. So let's go ahead and get started. You're gonna to wanna to come in here. Oh, and let's go ahead and start the timer too. So you're gonna to wanna to go to console.actions.google.com. And in here, you can see that I've already started a few different projects, but just to show you what it's gonna look like the first time that you go in it, it's gonna be like a blank area like this and you'll have an opportunity to start a new project. So for the sake of this, I'll just hit my new project button. We'll do Aaron's project for YouTube. Right, and then you'll be taken to this screen where you can choose all types of different things that you can build for your Google Home. For the sake of this, we're going to build a trivia game and go ahead and get that started. You can see that there's a lot of other types of things that you can build in here, so it makes it really fun. Let's go ahead and get started. So it's gonna walk you through this basically step-by-step. Step. So here you're able to open up their trivia template and make a copy of it. And in here, it's gonna show you how you can word your questions, different types of things that you can do with your questions. Uh, for instance, these little tips right here, you can hover over it and it tells you essentially how the Google Home will treat the answers to your questions. If you have multiple answers to your questions, there is this little bar you can put in between, but this sheet essentially tells you all of that information. So for the sake of this, we'll delete that. And one of the easiest ways to create your first test quiz is just, just to make it about you. So, you know, one of mine is uh, where is or was Aaron born? And then you can fill in your correct answer and some incorrect answers. It creates a multiple choice for you. One of the most fun things though, is to create a follow-up. So after your question is asked and answered, you can create additional information that somebody can learn about you or whatever topic that you're choosing to make your quiz on. So I already have pre-made some of my questions and answers. And so I'm gonna go ahead and paste those in for the sake of this. So I'll put in different title. And then from here, you can just copy this URL and paste it right back in to your trivia game. So just paste that right there, hit upload, and it's going to validate your sheet and it's essentially just checking to make sure that all of your questions have answers and um, just making sure it has the right amount of questions because if you have less than four, it will flag it because you need four or more. At this point, we can go ahead and test this in the simulator. And once this preview goes, you're able to go in and just test it right here with just these like button okay. controls. Okay, the test version of my test app. It's gonna play a little music. It's really fun. Yay, I'm 
so excited to play the fun trivia game We're both with you excited. Today. Okay. First question. Well, you get the point of where that's going. But we have a few more things to do before we can really test this out um, and have more fun with it. The first thing you're going to want to do is create uh, an invocation. So you're going to want to create some kind of phrase that Google can latch on to so that you can launch your trivia. So I'll just say, Aaron, you to trivia. And you can actually hear what it sounds like. Trivia. Aaron, YouTube trivia. Right there. So if it sounds a little bit goofy to you and you want to change it, you can do that right here and just change the way uh, the word is spelled and Google will pronounce it correctly. All right. So at this point, we have our invocation. We, we basically are, are done and we can go ahead and test this app out right on our Google Home. Okay, Google, talk to Aaron YouTube Trivia. Okay, here's the test version of Aaron YouTube Trivia. <sighs> so fun. So glad you came back to play the fun trivia game. Here comes your first question. What city was Aaron born in? Tampa, Florida, New York, New York, or Allentown, Pennsylvania? Allentown, Pennsylvania. That was so right. So right. Billy Joel wrote a well-known song called Allentown, which depicts the depressed blue-collar livelihood of the area's residents in the wake of the steel industry's decline and eventual factory closures. Question two goes like this. Well, that was depressing. What is Aaron's anyway, favorite movie? You essentially now figured out how you can build your very own Google Home app in less than five minutes. Now, there's a few other things that I'll want to show you that will help you at least get this thing deployed and you can get it live and then all of your friends can play your trivia game. Uh, but before I show you that, I want to show you one other thing that didn't come up in the previous recording, I think because of the outage today, I'm not really sure. But um, when you are developing your app, you're also going to be able to choose a voice personality. So here's a few. Your intelligence is staggering. And then... I like that answer because it's right. I call that a right answer. So it's really fun to play with these different types of voice personalities, uh, but I always choose Beeps the Robot. I just like it. Okay, so then you'll see that all the other actions in here are basically the same. When you are ready to deploy, there's a few other steps that you'll need to take. This one is currently under review. I'll show you the other one that I made that actually is in production. So I made a quiz uh, for work called Shutterstock Trivia. And it's just some like trivia about Shutterstock, but also about photography. And that one was approved. So this is what you'll see when you have an app that is approved. But let's pretend that we want to submit this one for approval. So where you'll go is through this stepper where just it's just going to ask you to put in information. So you'll just enter your description. You'll make sure that your invocation sounds correct. You'll add images in there, contact details. And then this is the most important thing. You need a privacy policy. And when you do that, you can just come in here and you can just copy their privacy policy and just fill in your name and the name of your app. So that's ex exactly what I did here is I copied this, made my own Google Doc with this information on it. And then I was able to attach that to my submission. They also have a submission checklist before you submit. So you can just make sure everything's right. All right, so by the time this video is live, hopefully uh, Google has all the little things fixed in here. Uh, but also I think this trivia game hopefully should be approved and live. So if you'd like, uh, I'm about to say the, the phrase. So if you have a Google Home at home, cover it up. Uh, but you will be able to say, okay, Google, play Aaron Essex trivia. All right, let's get the test version of Aaron Essex Trivia. Okay, Google, turn off. All right, so that's all the things. I had so much fun. 
Hope you did too. Bye. Bye. All right. Well, that didn't go perfectly, but we got it done. We got it done. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button and I will see you again soon. Thanks. So that's all the things. I had so much fun. Hope you did too. Bye. Bye.